Hey ladies and gents, welcome to Exrisant. This is one of five studies of what I call the Five Senses Project. The project includes painting an ear, nose, mouth, hand, and in this video, the eye. I use pan pastels and pastel pencils for details on pastel mat using bristle brushes. The aim of this project is to get a feel of how to use bristle brushes, mixing various pan colours with confidence, and last, and by no means least, getting practice with values. Once I've transferred my drawing on the surface, the thing I'm thinking about mostly is the white part of the eye, which is not really white. I use white in the reflection surrounding the pupil, and to mix with black to make grey for the white section of the eye. I use various brushes and this brush technique works best on pastel mat or UART paper. I want to use the pans to the max and for the techniques I use I can go anywhere between 85 to 90 percent of the way of my project. I also use the bristle brushes to blend the, past, uh, the pastel pencil application. The pan colours I use are the Burnt Sienna and Red Iron Oxide group of colours. In addition, uh, Raw Umber, Raw Umber Tint and of course Black and White. I've cut a small piece of pastel matte anthracite measuring 19 by 14 centimeters approximately or 7 by 5 inches. I just wanted to pause for a moment and mention that if you want to view the real-time version of this video I invite you to become a patron and view this on my Patreon channel where I go into depth about my thought process and how I develop my blending and mixing techniques. The link is in the description box below. I use a small piece of 110 GSM cartridge paper to mix colours, uh, which is an invaluable, fabulous tool, all those adjectives that I'm using here, and one which I rarely go without. The surface allows me to apply many layers and I take full advantage of that, but always applying light layers, slowly building, adjust, uh, adjusting my values as I go along. One of the reasons for painting these studies is to get you used to looking at some key points. Uh, for example, this eye. I feel the key points are the corners on the inside, like of the eyeball. Uh, another thing to look at is uh, the creases on the eyelid. And another key point, which I think is important, and to finish it off, is the eyelashes. And of course, all the way thinking about your values, applying darks and lights uh, to give it um, a 3D look and to give it some shape. I hope this video has been a little helpful. I invite you to share this video. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos as I upload them. My name is Chrissy. Thanks for watching and keep on keeping on.